beautiful, how you doing today? Welcome back, or welcome, if this is your first time. Hi, I'm Lucky, gay guy from prison, talking about it all the time. And in today's video, we're going to talk about whether or not masculine guys have to become queens in prison. This was a question brought on by one of you lovely people in the comments. I love you guys' comments. And the answer is yes. <laughs> I'm going to explain. I probably maybe might surprise you with this this answer but the truth is i personally feel like masculine gay guys have it a little bit harder in prison than than feminine gay guys i know i'm whining all the time about my time in prison and how tough it was and it was so traumatic and all the guys were at me all the freaking time and all of this stuff and it's like boohoo bitch it must be so terrible for the attention that you were getting <laughs> but it was tiring because it was just constant that's the reason why it was tiring and it caused it causes every like queen to go through like mood swings you know sometimes it's your you just you just go through the emotions because it's it's constant it's constant whether you're up for it or not whether you're you know wanting it or not it's just constant all the time and it just gets irritating but masculine guys masculine gay guys they have to make a choice because because of the environment it's not a place that accepts or tolerates homosexuality the reason why homosexuality is able to exist is because you have guys that are posing as female imposters <laughs> and that's what makes it not okay for like the homophobic guys and the gang members and you know things like that but it makes it at least like tolerable because it doesn't appear as two guys that are dating each other but as a guy and somebody who's seeking uh, someone as closely resembling a woman as there exists in this 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 society in this culture that we're in right now in within prison so because it's like that for a masculine gay guy especially a masculine gay guy that likes other like guys it out here it's very popular in the gay community for like a masculine guy to want to get with another guy like another masculine guy but that is absolutely not okay in prison and that's partly why just a little sidebar for anybody that you know knows about my fiance cam or doesn't know that's partly why i feel like he's had such a difficult time lately because prior to meeting me he had never been going steady with anybody and he was able to just exist as like a regular guy because he's very masculine they did know that he's been in the game but he wasn't really seen with anybody but we were together for a whole year and a half and now that i'm not around people feel uncomfortable to talk to him because they see him they don't see him as a queen they see him as a guy and yet they know in their mind that he's gay so it makes them uncomfortable because homosexuality is not really allowed therefore masculine guys they have three options this is it and this is all the cases that I've seen. This is from personal experience of witnessing it, speaking to these, you know, to different guys. Either they are in the closet. Nobody knows a thing about them. Maybe they have a secret little thing that goes on with them. Maybe they don't. We would never know because they make it their business not to be known. And they avoid queens like me like maybe out here masculine guys they love the gay community they're very proud lgbt people whatever but then in there they avoid queens like the plague because i used to try to find regular gay guys but the only people that i could find were like queens you know and queens compete with each other in prison so they're not even really like friends allies or anything like that you, you know each other but it's mainly to just kind of keep tabs on the competition you know know your enemy know thy enemy and other gay guys who are just regular guys they do not want to talk to the queens they don't want to be caught dead ever speaking to a queen because nobody can know that they're gay so they're either in the closet you know secretly living their life or they 
try to play the man role. And usually what I've seen with guys like that, they eventually sadly kind of become trade. And the reason for this is because over time, this is not something that happens like immediately, but like over time, if they're if they're regularly sleeping with somebody or they start dating one of the queens for example like they're a guy they're playing the man role they're gay and in their mind and they get with a queen because this is their option they can't date a regular guy they, they have to date a queen so let's say it's a masculine guy that likes feminine guys cool he either was just playing the role of a man and then that's it and then he's just the role of the man or how he would become trade is because he maybe wants to flip the pancake <laughs> and that's prison slang for like going both ways he wants to be pitching and sometimes occasionally receiving which that does happen a lot sometimes but then it gets around which these bitches in prison yo like they telling all the guy's business like that's just you know you don't break codes like that but i don't know these girls nowadays in prison girls they they like to gossip with the other queens especially because it's it's it comes out as gossip either because the queen is actually disgusted by this there's a lot surprisingly there's a lot more queens than you would think that they do not want a guy like that like they are really just turned off by that they want to play the role of a woman and you are supposed to be my man why in the world would you even be interested in doing this you know are you a girl so you're a girl too that's how they actually look at it and that's how they'll actually talk about the guys like then they'll go and they'll be gossiping with the, the other queens you know or even other guys even other guys and they'll be like you know so i'll be wondering if he's a girl himself like i'm like oh my god and they'll put him on blast like that and then of course you know the guys then you know sometimes guys gossip worse than girls like that's such a sexist thing i think when guys are like oh girls are so gossipy like guys Guys gossip way harder than a lot of girls, to tell you the truth. And especially something like that, it flies through the compound. Everybody would be knowing. And then it just sort of ruins the dude's reputation. And he kind of flounders about between queens and, and other guys. And then that's how they become trade, to tell you the truth. Because it's not like he's really husband material. But then how many straight guys or masculine guys are going to want other guys knowing that they're fooling around with this guy like because like i said at the beginning of the video homosexual real homosexuality as in two guys that are guys engaging in you know intercourse or whatever it is not tolerated in prison it is very much you know up uh, an issue a serious issue a masculine gay guy is m more likely to find himself in some shit, some trouble, than a feminine gay guy. Because a feminine gay guy is not seen as a, a guy. For one, he's seen as, you know, dainty. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys that actually p pick on feminine dudes one sometimes actually find themselves really getting messed up because a lot of them queens really know how to fight because of getting in violent relationships having guys push themselves onto them or try to attack them or something like that so a lot of queens actually in prison seriously know how to throw punches for real and it's disrespected i mean the guy is viewed the guy is not viewed with respect like and which is surprising i mean it's kind of mixed like guys that just hate the queens like they just really don't care they they probably just find it humorous or something like that like guys that just hate gay guys you know or something like that but i'm just saying there's a large group of people whether they like queens or not whether they deal with queens or not that they don't respect a guy that beats up on a, a girly guy seriously they they don't you know these are all things that i did not know until i was in prison i didn't know and i learned as i went along like i just learned by the way that i was treated by the way that other people were treated things that i would see things that i would hear you know and then that's why i was just surprised this is why i make these videos because i mean i you would not know this like unless you're hearing it here you would not know these things you know what i'm saying but anyway so that explains the the first two options in terms of what is available for a masculine guy a masculine gay guy in prison either he has to be hidden away in the closet he, he 
uh, is public, but then he either ends up being like the man role or trade. And then the third option is he becomes a queen, which I, I did meet guys like that. I did. The story time that I have made on this channel talking about Rachel, Rachel is a queen that I knew in there. I gave that story time from the point of view of her feeling like she's a woman and wanting to transition. But in actuality, her real identity is that she's just a gay guy, but this person has been in prison for so long that they've lost con they've lost touch with r reality really to tell you the truth and that was the purpose behind that video with that story time if you haven't seen it i would recommend checking it out it's very interesting but what i didn't really mention in there is that rachel was initially a masculine guy initially rachel was a masculine gay guy and was trying to pursue queens. I think I did make that little point though in the story time. But initially was trying to pursue queens. But Rachel is the type of gay type of masculine gay guy that enjoys both. Like in like literally enjoys being a bottom and being a top. And that's very hard to find in prison. You would think that it's not because it's a bunch of guys. It seems like it's like free for all in theory or like in fantasy or whatever. But it's very, very structured. The, the, the society part of the environment. Well, the whole environment, you know, from your meals to the lockdown to when you wake up to you when you go to sleep to every aspect of that lifestyle. It's very structured. And it's like socially people fit into very specific groups, very specific roles. And in the gay lifestyle of prison, that's just the role. Either you are playing the part of the woman or you are playing the part of the man. And if there's, and if you're trying to have anything other than that, you need to be doing it in private, in secret. And that's why there's guys that they're, they're hidden. But others, they, they eventually become a queen. Rachel, that's how Rachel ended up becoming a queen. And there's somebody else that I was going to mention. Oh, the guy that I had first slept with. When I first got to prison, the very first prisoner that I had sex with, his name was Brent and he was masculine. But a lot of people used to tell me, like they would they would be like, why are you sleeping with him and all of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Because one, because he was trade. For example, like I said, he had became trade, and that was purely because of the type of choices he had made. When he first got in, he had seen how he wanted to be gay. He knew he was gay, but he had seen how the queens live in terms of the advantages that they have with the guys. They get, you know, you can easily get taken care of as a queen in prison, straight up. You don't need nobody sending you money. You can just live comfortably. Most queens in prison live the most comfortable because of the guys because of all the guys doing for them giving them whatever so he was trying to become a queen but he didn't like it it went against his natural character he's naturally a very masculine person it was a straight up act him being feminine it was straight up a complete act you know and he tried it but he wasn't able to do it and he just started being more masculine but that turned off the masculine guys that are trying to get with him so then he's tried dating the queens but he's not really husband material you know like so it's just it's just it's just weird it's just a weird environment but that's my video <laughs> hopefully that cleared up some questions and if you have any more questions please leave your comments i love your comments and i'll see you in the next one bye